specifically asked Jerry Jones to denounce racism. I think it's very important with where we're at in this time in history right now. I didn't hear him do that with Colin Kaepernick. His silence was heard all over the country as related to George Floyd. And here was another opportunity where, frankly, Stephen A., I felt like his answer felt to me it was above approach, right? He was, he was above the matter. In the end, we will remember the, not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Mm-hmm. It's Jerry Jones, our friend. I think that's very important. And I say that because I don't condone the 14-year-old kid or not. Like, I agree with you. We're on the same page. 14-year-old kid, curiosity. Mm-hmm. But sometimes in life, there's good people and there's bad people. And what happened on his commentary when he was addressed about this, which he had multiple days to think about, the direct quote was, I don't know that I or anybody anticipated or had a background of knowing what was involved. It was more of a curious thing. Mm-hmm. Why is Jerry, why is Jerry Jones absolving the hundreds of people who were around him who had different intention? Why is he speaking for everybody's intention? When you could tell that maybe he, he was curious, but there were a lot of people there who weren't curious. There were a lot of people there who were racist. And that's okay to say. What was even more concerning for me is that when Kyrie Irving posts a pic of Hebrews to Negroes, we automatically come to the table by saying, you need to denounce anti-Semitism. But Jerry Joes didn't, he didn't denounce racism, right? It felt like he deflected. And how come he didn't use words, Stephen A, like that moment was a grotesque time in history. Mm -hmm. It was monstrous. It was ugly. Those kids didn't deserve that. But his whole approach, Stephen A, felt like he was above that. Now, I know there are power dynamics in how this whole situation works. Kyrie Irving is an employee, Jerry Jones, an owner of a team. And I get that people are going to say, well, at the end of the day, if it doesn't affect Jerry Jones' bottom line, then he's going to stay away from that. And what I'm trying to say right now, for where we're at in this time of history, you need to choose a side. Because that moment, Jerry Jones, the 80-year-old man, reminded me of the 14-year-old kid still being curious. And you can't be curious when you're in a position of power in the NFL representing hundreds of black people that work for your organization. The players have asked you to speak up about things like this. I just feel like it was a very missed opportunity for him. Now, I'm not saying Jerry Jones is racist.